Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be Blue Sky One. I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download directly from this address. Before we begin begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started.、Uh, now to save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware. Okay. Uh, I think you'll be wondering. In most cases, I use the virtual box to do the to do the one hop testing, but、uh, for this virtual machine. Uh, it would be better for us to use the VMware, like、uh, VMware Workstation, to do this、uh, test rather than VirtualBox. Okay, so now we can go into the Kali Linux. As you can see over here, I have already in identified the IP address of the virtual machine as one hundred. And fifty-eight、uh, by the two, like、uh, net discover. Of course, you can use whatever you like. And、uh, then I did the map scanning. I did the since scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. From the map scanning result, as you can see over here. The two open ports. The first one is twenty-two, which runs SSH service, and also the actual version information is displayed over here. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. What we can exploit, and the second open port is eighty eighty, which is running HTTP service. And also the actual version information, which is Apache Tomcat, and exact、uh, version information. I think we need to take into this to our mind. And what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for the 8080 port. Now we can fire up our browser. And access eighty eighty, and I think this is the default Apache Tomcat page. And、uh, you, we can make a very basic emulation or reconnaissance, reconnaissance, for example, like host manager, but、uh, access denied, and also the manager app. But it requires us to provide the credentials, and we can use like、uh, default credentials or username and password like Tomcat, and password is also Tomcat. But it's not working. So I think for the Apache Tomcat manager, the Metasploit has some has one module, which can. Try to crack the password for the manager app, and now let's launch Metasploit. And we can wait for this to be loaded up. It took、uh, a bit a long time. To load, okay, and we can search the Tomcat, and I think、uh, should be manager, right? And we can use this, yeah, auxiliary, a、uh, module, the, which can be used for the manager login, and we can show options, and we can set the look the remote hosts. Uh, as our virtual machine, 
okay, and the remote port, which is 8080, we don't need to change this field. I think we have already configured all required uh, field or options. And now we let's run. But uh, authorization not a request. And uh, this module is not working. It's okay. And also we can uh, make some uh, like uh, to see whether this site has robots file. Robots file. But nothing useful is not available. And we can do the director immersion using GoBuster. And we can specify the URL. Don't forget the port number. And uh, we can put the word list. The first word list, I always use the do. Yeah, and uh, the GoBuster is enriching the directories of files. And uh, although uh, these two has already given us some results, like docs, directory, examples, manager, manager, we have already know that information. I can tell you, we cannot get any useful information. I mean, uh, we, with respect to the directory names. And uh, I, uh, when I did uh, this virtual machine the first time, I tried several word lists, like uh, the word list uh, inside the sec lists. I tried uh, several one, several word lists, but uh, they didn't uh, give us any useful information. So, uh, I get the help from the uh, online resource. I, we need to use another specialized word list to do this job. So at this point, I'd like to interrupt this immersion process. Sorry about that. Okay, I have already prepared this specialized word list from the online a resource or website. I, exactly, I, I, I got this word list from the GitHub. And uh, if you have a problem to find, find this word list, please let me know. Okay? And then we can use, and we can uh, take a look at uh, this word list. So I think um, because the, the, the first letter or character is a slash. Maybe we, we need to remove this slash before we're using this. And uh, we can uh, make a backup this this file. And uh, we can use the set command. And uh, the first uh, character we need to remove. And then okay, and then now you can cut uh, the the file. Now the first character or slash has been removed from each line. Then we can use the GoBuster uh, to do the immersion again. I think for this virtual machine, the word list is the first key step. And uh, okay, as you can see, uh, we have already identified this directory. Uh, although the status is 302, uh, it means the re redirect. And we can make a copy of this. A directory and uh, we can put in here yeah welcome 
So I think uh, you, you, you know that the Strut 2 is some sort of the web framework. And uh, this uh, web framework does have the vulnerability. And the Meta Sprite has one module uh, for exploitation. Okay, so now we can go back to our Meta Sprite and search Struts. And we can use this one, showcase, yeah, this module. And we can show options. And we need to set the local host to our uh, Kali Linux. Maybe I need to confirm my IP address, which is 143 and uh, set the local port to my favorite one, which is 555. And also I need to set the remote host as, and the remote port, we can leave the default value, which is 8080. And I think I have already configured, I can show options again to make sure we have already configured every required option. And now we just run. It's working? Yeah, we have already, already. We can sessions. Yeah, we no active sessions. So maybe there's some problems. And uh, I need to show options again. The 8080. And the target URL. The local host. Am I correct? And now we can exploit again. But it's not working. No sessions. Ah, it's a bit weird. When I did it, I did this virtual machine the first time. I it's working. Okay, I need to fix that. Okay, I'm. Uh, I'll come back. Uh, we need to uh, set another payload. We need to set this one. The payload, the CMD, Unix. And uh, which is the reverse netcat? Yeah, we need to set this one. And but uh, command shell. So but this command shell is not stable. We need to set up an or spawn a new shell. We can set up set up the listener another listener. And we can run again. We can sessions. Yeah, we we have already got the got the com command to session. Yeah, ID no problem. And we can uh, we can use this command to spawn another shell. But uh, it's not working. It's uh, fine. We can run. We can run. We need to run again. Sorry about that. because this command shell session is not uh, stable. And Python 3.
Okay, and we can spawn another shell because this one is not a stable. Yeah, we got a very stable shell this time. And now, what can we do? We can make some local immersion. There is just one user. And we got the user flag here. No problem. So try your best. You have passed the first challenge. And the last one is for you. Loot me. And uh, I think uh, inside this home directory, we have already noticed that there is one uh, subdirectory or hidden di directory is Mozilla. So I think the, this Mozilla of the browser has some credentials information. We can go to this. Go to the Firefox. So I think, um, you know, the Firefox uh, sometimes will, will record the credential information inside this file, the logins. A JSON file. We can locate this file. Logins JSON, and uh, the type is file, and redirect or error. Yeah, we have already located uh, this file, and we can go to this directory. Sorry about the notification. And then now we need to download this, uh, this login. Yeah, where is it? Logins. Yeah, this file and this key or key information. And uh, how to do? We can use the Python 3 to set up the web server. And now we can open up a new tab. And uh, blue sky, and we can use the double get to download logins JSON. Yeah, no problem. And another one is the key information is key four. We can make a copy, paste it in here. So we have already uh, downloaded uh, this file, and we need to extract the or extract information. And the tool we need to to use is Fire Fire PWD P, PWD. Sorry, and I have already make a clone from the GitHub, and we can go to the Fire. And uh, but before we use this Python script, we need to install the third-party modules, and uh, we can install requirements. And no problem, and then we can move uh, this. To file logging to the current directory, and then we can run uh, this Python script. And uh, now, as you can see, we got the username and the password, and then we can SSH. And yes, and we can make a copy of the password. Now we successfully log in uh, to this uh, virtual machine. And now we can sudo. And we need to provide 
or supply the password, yet this user can run all commands with root privilege. So it would be very easy to elevate our privilege. And we can go to the root directory. We can get the root flag here. OK, so that's it. We have already completed uh, this virtual machine. I think this virtual machine has some uh, difficult steps. For example, like uh, we need to use very custom, custom word list to do the directory immersion. If you cannot get the appropriate word list to do the to do this, you will not find you will not get the right direction. And then we need to extract the information from the Mozilla browser. And uh, uh, in this context, we need to use the third party to the fire PWT, fire PWD. And uh, this will can help us to uh, decrypt the information. OK, so that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.